tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way hi guys good morning how are you all i hope you are doing great please if you hear any noise it's a washing machine i'm sorry i need to wash my things that were not dry yesterday it's sad because yesterday it rained so i had to go and remove them from the line and it was really smelling it had this you know when you have a damp clothes and it's smelling so i have to rinse it again with the washing machine and hang them today because today is very sunny yesterday it was raining heavily with wind so um today i'm up and if you are new here please welcome to the channel and if you are a returning subscriber you know i love you so much and i really appreciate you for always coming back because it's not easy okay so thank you so much i owe you one so today is going to be a fun day because i'm taking my mom my daughter and my brother to the kwame nkrumah museum i haven't been there i've always been passing they had the old one i never went there as a Ghanaian and the new one too i have never been there i'm like no girl you have to go because foreigners are even enjoying this than you in ghana so you have to go and so i told my mom and they were like okay they're interested also and so i'm going with them today now also i wouldn't have time because i'll be starting work soon and i know by the time you're watching this video it's already up so I'm going to link it somewhere here. So please kindly go and watch it and see how God has blessed me from unemployment to employed. Okay. So yeah. So um, I gave them 9, 9.30, 10 o'clock and it's already 9 o'clock, I guess. And I'm here, still here. I haven't been taking my bath. I woke up and had to do some few things at home. And so I need to bath ASAP, bath my daughter ASAP. She just woke up she's just lying here we need to bath asap before they come because we'll be a bad host if we don't do everything before they come okay because i just iron my clothes and everything so yeah i'm surely going to take you guys along definitely that's why i'm with the camera in the first place so yeah let's get prepared and then we'll see you guys when we're on our way to the kwame Nkrumah museum okay so see ya when we get there so um i wanted to explain i'm sure some people are curious and asking me by this time that ah but you went to do an aviation course why are you not into the um why are you not in the airport working and all blah 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 i'm going to explain that in another video explaining to you guys why i'm not working at the airport and i'm working at somewhere else but this vlog is supposed to be a fun fun vlog so i'm not going to you know bring anything serious in here so yeah going to get ready so that when they come they do not have to wait for me and then we will go to the kwame chroma museum so if you are interested in this vlog please do not go anywhere stick and stay and i will see you in the next scene okay bye guys we are in the car now we are ready to leave we are just waiting for my mom and the others to come and yeah we will start the journey but right now they are not in i'm going to wait for them at the junction please forget the face forget the face i'm going through it i'm going through it so so come along with us i don't know why i'm a Ghanaian and haven't visited that uh, kwame nkroma museum but anyways we are going there today and I'm so happy. I can't wait to bring you guys along. And I'll see you when I see you. That's why I buy sketch one. No, Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the leader. Hi. 
Kiasan. In your for going around. In your entrance. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. She said, this place is so nice. I like this place. Hi, guys. So it's 11.44. And we are told that the tour is starting at 12 o'clock. So we are just going around to see the place and then get back to the reception and go with the tour guard. So right now, we are just going around to look at the place before we start our tour. So we we'll see you when we start the tour. Mommy, say hi. Hello. <laughs> wow, you're gonna take pictures. Yeah. Yeah. 
Mexico. So it's time for the tour and we are leaving. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you where am I a guy? Once we finish, I don't have it. <laughs> my space in my camera. We are follow grounds for the first And the blacks were not allowed. And that is why when Osaka Dr. Kwame Kuma on the 6th of March 1957, he gained independence for Ghana. Despite the British and also to make a point, he chose the very same grounds to be so there's a statue behind me here. Where the statue is situated was the exact same spot Kwame Kuma to do to declare the independence. Kwame Kuma was born on the 21st of September 1909 to Elizabeth Nyaneba and Shabana Nkuma as a couple in the West End. He was a new child of his parents. His father was a businessman, but he lost his father at a very young age. And growing up, he was rebellious towards his living life. <laughs> and instead of the usual nine months, the woman was carried pregnant to become the woman dead, Madame Elizabeth married the woman for 11 months. Yeah. <laughs> she carried him for 11 months. After the scholarship to stay at Lincoln University in Pennsylvania, in the United States, he left for something. Ghana used to be gold school. It was changed to Ghana after independence. And the political party they had at the time was the United Gold Coast Convention, UGC. One of them, by name Akweje, visited London, met Nkuma, and had an encounter with him. And based upon the encounter he had with him, he was able to figure out that Nkuma was very smart. So when he came back home, he told the other that when he was going to Ghana, she was also very under the mistake. Alright, let's start the <laughs> yeah, I say he has to chew it. If he doesn't chew, then people come. How is he going to explain it? Still pointing this way, what it means is we face neither east nor west, we face forward, forward ever, backwards never. never, which is also the slogan for Kano Kumas political party. The statues in the water, we call them horn blowers. Horn blowers are part of the southern tradition of the people of Ghana. Horn blowers lead a king or an important personality in the society, announcing your arrival or presence at a location. They also announce the death of important people in the society. But in a real life situation, horn blowers do not move, they stand. And when they stand, they are not supposed to give their back to the person they are leading. They are supposed to stand facing you. But in this case, they have their back towards the consumer because they are announcing his death to the people. And they are kneeling as a sign of respect to him. And to the other side with a mini guitar representing the northern part of Ghana to show that we are one people and 
the United. The museum structure was designed by a Ghanaian architect called John Arthur. And they used Italian marble to build the structure. The meaning of the structure is that, first of all, it's a tree. And it's a tree because back in the days when our fathers go to the farm, after their days hard work, they had trees, they go to the farm or go to the man of the That's how we have a I have water around the as well around the I wonder if you go to the rest of the food and 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 the Can you go inside? So we went inside and we're not allowed to take pictures and videos but we saw some videos and pictures of Ankroma and so yeah we are out. Here to no pictures and no videos. Uh -huh. And I have 
expression. First two pictures is laughing, third one smiling slightly, fourth one you can't tell what he's thinking about, and the last two is frowning. It's to remind us or to tell us Kwame Kuma was human like us, and he didn't have his life all figured out at once. He had his own ups and downs, good days and bad days, happy days and sad days, days that he easily succeeded and days that he had to struggle to succeed. Therefore, whatever we go through or may go through in life, we shouldn't give up, but we should keep fighting till we succeed. And we have one of his famous quotes on the wall, I am not African because I was born in Africa, but because Africa was born in me and the black star. Did you have any questions? <laughs> All right, then this is the end of the tour. But you can still go around for pictures. <laughs> Guys, we are done with the tour. We are just taking pictures around and videos. So yeah, we are done. I hope you learned something from it. And I didn't actually show you guys everything the lady said because I also want you to come here and experience and get to know Kwame Chroma when you come. So yeah, I didn't take care of everything that she was saying. So yeah, we are still here. We are going to take pictures and we paid before we enter so the foreigners pay different prices and if you're Ghanaian you take a uh, you pay a different price i'm a Ghanaian so i bought i was i paid i'm a Ghanaian so i paid 25 ghana cities and my daughter does the kids paid five cities okay so if you're an adult you pay 25 cities yeah and you're you know, a child I, or a kid you paid five cities i don't know how much the foreigners i don't know how much the foreigners they pay 100 cities plus Okay. <laughs> I don't know how much the foreigners pay, but my brother is saying 100 cities plus. So, yeah, we are done. We are taking pictures and then we'll head to eat something. So, see you when we leave this place. Bye. Let's go. Yes. No, this one this is not one the is one they want to come and do it. Right there. can't see me it's very dark but we are back home it's 7 3 and so we went to three places we went to the Kwame Nkrumah Museum and also we went to um where do you go to the lunch city opposite um tv3 and then we went to the crown mall and I got myself a new customized perfume so I got this perfume 
Yes, it's at cute. At the mall. It's and cute, it's guys. heaven. The scent cute, is guys. heaven. This was 300 Ghana CDs. And I love it. She's cute, guys. That was customized for me. And I love my perfume. Yes, mm. she love it. Okay, so I would like to end this vlog here because I have to end it properly. And I will see you guys in my next one. See ya. Bye. Bye.